Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Nick Wayne. Welcome to another BTO Sports Warehouse review. This review is a bit of a unique one. These helmets have already been out. It's a 60 ATR1, the ATR2. This video is going to focus on the differences between the two. If you're not familiar with 60 helmets, they're kind of the pioneers of managing uh, rotational energy and linear, linear energy, thus reducing concussions. A lot of helmet manufacturers in the past haven't really addressed um, rotational energy. Um, what that is is, you know, when the helmet hits the ground, the helmet stops, but the body keeps moving, so you need a helmet that can go kind of move with the head. A lot of helmet manufacturers kind of just focus on the hard impacts and not the slow speed impacts, and that's where the majority of the concussions come from, so you're going to want a helmet that can work on both. So um, there's a lot inside these helmets. I'll get into that, as well as the, the differences between the ATR1 and ATR2. After all, there's a $200 difference, so let's get into that. All right, one of the biggest differences, besides the price, of course, this is the ATR1 helmet. Um, comes with a little bag as well. It's what's inside the box, so that's important. The ATR1 has 27 dampeners around the helmet inside between the shell and the uh, the EPP the liner. So um, that's what helps absorb the energy. So the helmet will be a little bit bigger and um, actually weighs a little bit more than the ATR2. So the ATR2 only has 11 dampeners throughout throughout the helmet. So there's less mass to this helmet. It's about 100 grams lighter per size. Uh, or shell rather so um, that's obviously really important that they save weight on this helmet and sticking with the outside of the shell and the weight it's all one piece the mouthpiece here is not separate and there's ventilation there's a little bit more on the chin bar here than than uh, than the ATR1 you have ventilation um, intake vents above the brow on both helmets that's pretty much the same and then on the back you have a little bit more um, ventilation on the back the rear exhaust ports on the ATR2 has a little bit more um, room for the air to move out of the helmet. The 6D helmets have these uh, suspension dampeners throughout the helmet, so there already is kind of a pocket for the air to move throughout the helmet, so that's an advantage with the 6D. I want to point out the, uh, the comfort liner that comes inside of both, both of the ATR1 and ATR2. You see both are well ventilated and uh, moisture wicking liner here. Really, uh, really a premium liner that you get with a premium helmet, that's what you should expect anyways. Now the ATR1 just has the EPP uh, that goes throughout the inside of the helmet you can't really see and uh, the suspension uh, dampeners that I that I mentioned earlier are inside of here all right so you can see the helmet moves like that so the suspension working inside of the helmet rotates all around six degrees that's where you get 6d from that's what the name comes from now the now for the ATR2 you have the EPS and the EPP as I mentioned the EPP is in all it's just underneath the shell it's in both helmets um, but what you're looking at right right here what the camera can see this is the EPS part of the liner So 6d has both on it and the suspension dampeners are in between the two and the friction plates It allows us to move a little bit more freely um, And help reduce concussion um, Concussion so 6d did a fantastic job. You can see the air channels throughout the inside there as well and one other thing that, that's a major selling feature of the 6d helmets the ATR2, as, as can the ATR1, it can be rebuilt. So in the event of a hard crash, as long as the shell, you know, the integrity is not damaged, you can send this helmet to 6D and for a fee, they'll rebuild the helmet. So yeah, you spent five to $700 on a helmet, but for a small fee, you can have the helmet rebuilt You can get your helmet back. So most manufacturers, I don't know of another one that does that actually, um, but 6D does. So fantastic work by 6D. All right, now uh, the ATR1, I'm going to try it on because what good is a helmet review if I don't try it on? So this is a size large. If you see my other reviews, I wear a large in just about every helmet. So here we go. Like a pillow. Feels good. All right, now let's see how the fit is compared to the ATR2. You know what I can tell right away putting on, put it on? The, the biggest difference was actually getting it on the, ends, the, the bottom part here was a little bit tighter as you just started putting it on your head, your head. so the helmet kind of encapsulates your head all the way around, almost kind of like a street helmet would. So wind noise or noise wasn't a factor like it is in, for street riding. Uh, 60 did a fantastic job. They both fit about the same. The both larges around my head fit good. The ATR2 just came around a little bit um, deeper around, around uh, my head. I really like that actually. I like feeling uh, safe, so. Oh. Like I said, uh, between the ATR1 and ATR2, you can't go wrong. 6D did a fantastic job. These helmets are kind of like a machine. All There's like moving parts and they all work together from the outside of the shell all the way to the liner. So 6D, nice work.